Hi, this is Colin with 8DO. I'm going to walk through my writing and orchestration process with Century Solo and Century Ensemble Brass. While they're two separate products, they're definitely designed to work together. There are seven solo instruments and six ensemble instruments across the two libraries. Each instrument contains all the articulations for that particular instrument, so templates are quicker to set up. You're not having to dig through multiple NKIs per instrument, that sort of thing. Generally speaking, we found that about half our customers use key switching to some degree. The other half split articulations out on individual tracks. With Century, it's really easy to customize things however you want. You can switch between articulations using a custom key switch or a MIDI CC. Because of the large amount of sampled articulations we have in Century, I prefer to split things in three categories per instrument. I'll usually have an instance with short notes, another with legato, and then a third with sustains, dynamic arcs, and crescendos, basically all those longer notes. It's also possible to have a single instance per instrument by loading only the essentials. That would probably look something like staccatissimo, staccato, marcato, sustain, legato, crescendo. That would be kind of a typical setup for bare bones orchestration where you're just you're working on charts, that sort of thing. This is a piece I've written called Cowboys in the Sky. It uses the majority of both Century Solo and Ensemble Brass. I'm also using our upcoming Century Strings and Century Harps. Woodwinds are all from our Claire Woodwind collection. I'm doing very little EQ and just running everything through a single Brecasty M7 reverb to kind of glue things together. The mixing process is primarily about getting everything balanced. I don't really have to do much to the instruments themselves. They, they really sound great out of the box. I'll play through it now and then break things down in more detail. Each brass instrument has four mic positions, close, deca, wide, and mix. I'm using the mix exclusively in this piece. All the century instruments are recorded centered on the stage. I place the instruments in traditional orchestral seating position, as you see here, using just standard panning and logic. The instruments really take well to panning. I'm, I haven't felt the need to do any stereo image manipulation with plugins or anything like that. If you're placing things with individual mics in your composition, I would pan the close mics directly in the interface, and you can do that pretty aggressively. Deck and wide, I would pan very little, if any. The close image will give you most of what you need in terms of placement. One of the greatest strengths of Century Brass are the variety of short notes. If you listen to a live brass recording, say Williams or, or Silvestri, there's a lot of musical chaos going on in the short notes. They have a metallic bite, and on rapid passages, the players don't seem to settle fully into the rounder pitch of their instruments. For Century, we're absolutely focused on how short notes should sound in the context of a musical phrase. Speaking of the solo trombone here, there are basically 10 different variations of short notes, spanning from staccatissimo to marcato, 
And I should mention the soaring articulations are actually marcato notes followed by a natural dynamic arc. It's a really essential articulation in my view that bridges things from short notes into longer phrases. Century also excels at harmonic writing. Because of the variety of ensemble sizes you have for each instrument, you have a lot of colors for individual voices within chords. For three note chords, I typically put the four trumpets on the top voice, two trumpets on the middle, and then the solo trumpet on the bottom. For trombones, I would typically use three trombones on the top voice, solo trombone on the middle, and then bass trombone on the bottom. French horns are a little more forgiving, but I'll split those out as well in some cases. Cumulatively, this keeps the sound more open and realistic. It also preserves space in the bandwidth of your mix, so all the instruments can be heard naturally. With all this in mind, I'm going to play through portions of the piece again, this time soloing the brass. Pay particular attention to the phrasing of the short notes and the open nature of the overall sound, even in denser harmonic moments. For those of us who've been working with samples for the last 15-20 years, there was a time when pulling off a remotely acceptable sample-based piece required a lot of layering and trickery. I recall having three four different libraries combined, EQ'd, carefully run through Altiverb, and I was just barely getting close to the violin sound that I wanted. With Century, this really is no longer the case. I find myself being able to focus my parts more and ultimately write less. With this in mind, I'm going to play through the piece one more time. This time I'll solo up Century Brass and Century Strings and I'll put pop-ups on the screen explaining the basic orchestration. 